All right, guys, we are back for battle number two here. We're going to go straight into it. I'm just recording this straight after the last one. I haven't even turned it off. You can probably hear the music has just gone on just a little bit from the last video, if you notice things like that. So we're going to go in. Our rating is now 1,515 with one win and zero losses. So we're going to try our best now to get at least one more win for today before I start going back to training. We have an, oh, we have a nice positive uh, rating trainer here with 1516, which is one point higher than me. And he's got Espeon, Kangaskhan, Smeargle, Azumarill, Sylveon, and Dragonite. Now, this is quite interesting because he does have the Kangaskhan. Now, one thing that's very interesting about this team is that he has two Eevee evolutions, and he has a Smeargle. Now, his Smeargle is very likely going to be his opener, but he could also open with the Kangaskhan. So, I have to decide now what's going to be more important. Do I open with my Kangaskhan first, the Fake Out, and take out that Smeargle before it sets up anything with the Fake Outs? Or do I open with my standard Rotom and just go for the Burns? Um, he has one, two, he only, he only has two Special Attackers. The Dragonite could potentially be one, but... I can't see it uh, being... Let me just double check my Landorus' moves, because I'm... It's a relatively new Pokemon that I've made, and I'm... Superpower Stone Edge. Okay, so I don't think Landers is going to be very good to open with, so I really want to open with Kangaskhan because it can fake out and it gives me a good scout. And Garchomp. I would bring in Garchomp if it wasn't for the Sylveon. The Sylveon, is, the Sylveon and the Dragonite are both very scary. So I think my best bet is to open with Kangaskhan, bring Rotom to, to take a couple of hits and to get a couple of burns off, and that should deal with the physical attackers. And I need a way to deal with Sylveon. Um, my Aegislash is probably the best uh, thing to absorb anything here. He has nothing that's super effective against Aegislash. But then I thought that the last time the Garchomp was carrying Fire, Bla <laughs> Fire Blast. It was a special Garchomp. It completely caught me off guard. Um, Garchomp, Sylveon, Landorus, or Aegislash here. I think I'm just going to go for the same composition and bring Aegislash again. Um... Yeah, I'm going to bring Aegislash. I may regret this, but we're going to go for it and see what happens. I have absolutely no idea. He's going to leave with either Smeargle or Kangaskhan. If he leaves with anything else, I'm in a good position. So we want... I really want him to leave with Smeargle. That's my, that, that was my prediction, which is why I've led with my Kangaskhan. If he doesn't leave with Smeargle, and he leaves with his Kangaskhan, I might have a bit of, bit of trouble. Okay, he leads with the smear glass. Really good for me. Now, the reason I didn't want him to leave with his Kangaskhan is because if his Kangaskhan was jolly, I would have I would have lost the fake out speed tip, the speed war. Because what's going on there is that um What's happened with that? I should have power punched that because I'm predicting him to switch. Now, his Kangaskhan would have won the speed war, which means he would have got the fake out first. If it was jolly, because my my um, Kangaskhan is on it. Yeah, I really should have power up punched there. I even called that. So what is he bring in here? He's gonna bring in his Sylveon. So Sylveon's defense is actually quite poor unless he's completely maxed it out. So we're going to see how much his fake out does. Because Sylveon's also, also very slow. So I could go for a fake out. Depending on how much it does, I might go for the return kill here. That does quite a lot, actually. I'm going to go for the return kill. My return kills him and my Kangaskhan will outspeed Sylveon. And he had nothing on his team that's going to resist this return. So I'm going to go straight forward. And this should take out the Sylveon relatively easy. There we go. Sylveon down. Awesome. I'm not sure what that was about. Um, he didn't really have much option there. I think because of the Smeargle opening, I just won. Because of the, the Kangas can't give you such an advantage. But what the problem is when you go Smeargle, it's too obvious. When you because it'll be a, it's most likely gonna be some spore Smeargle or something. And it's far too obvious. He is gonna go into Smeargle now, and I'm actually gonna go for another return. I don't think the Smeargle's gonna outspeed me, but we're gonna but we're about to find out. So let's go in for the for the return. Nope, I think the Smeargle might die to this. And this is the Focus Slash. He may have the Focus Slash. But it doesn't matter because the second Kangaskhan's gonna hit him anyway. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, this is not good for his guy. I feel really bad. I, wa I won this game purely based on the opener. And what's he got now? Espeon, it's not gonna stand a chance. I'm gonna go for a Sucker Punch. And that's uh, just gonna completely end the game here. Espeon would probably be able to outspeed this Kangaskhan, I believe. Um, unless he was, yeah, he's gonna forfeit. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're working our way up the ranks already. That's a real shame, actually. Whenever you, this is why I don't like using Smeargle. People think Smeargle's really good because you can do the Spore, Belly, John, Baton Pass or Substitute nonsense. But honestly, if your opponent is running one of the most popular Megas in the game right now, which is Kangaskhan, and they want to win, you're not gonna do anything with it. Because if, if you open with that Smeargle and they open with Kangaskhan, you're gonna lose. Because you're gonna lose the Fake Out War and the Speed War anyway. 
And um, even the Focus Hatch just doesn't work because of the way Kangaskhan has two attacks. So the Focus Hatch won't even save him. So that's going to be it for today, folks. I'm going to get these two videos uploaded. I really hope you enjoyed those. I can't, it was so much of a stomp. I'm actually going to... Will I do one more? Yes, I'm going to do one more. So, folks, I'll see you in the next video. It'll be up after this one. See you in a bit.